I got a couple of probes that might work for you here. Uh, this one's just a pancake coil. And this is a differential plus point coil. So I'll show you the difference between these two. This one's hooked up to the BNC connector. It's BNC connector right there. And this other one has a Limo connector that will go into the 15 pin Limo, sorry. So the first thing I'll do is just test this one. So with the pancake coil, doesn't matter if you scan this way or if you scan that way, just because it's it's wound in a circle um, and it's planar, you can scan in any direction. You can still find flaws, whether they're axial or transverse. Doesn't scan pattern doesn't really matter. Now we're gonna need to do a setup here. And let me see here. Go to all settings, surface crack, sure. Surface cracks, advanced setup. You got to go in here and select. BNC, okay, check, we'll go to the main, and <clears throat> let's see what we got here, got an aluminum block, got some medium notches in it, and we'll just hit no, frequency will set to 300 kilohertz, Null it. And then we'll adjust our angle a tad. Okay, so there's your three EDM notches, eight mil deep, 20 mil deep, and 40 mil deep. Of course, if you use carbon steel, they're gonna go in a different direction. They're gonna go more vertical. So first I'll adjust the angle in the carbon steel just so you can see. Yeah, same flaws, they'll just, uh, actually, that's titanium. I gotta grab carbon steel. Mm, let's see here. This one's carbon steel. So when we set noise horizontal on this one, like, like so, you're gonna see vertical flaws in here. So that's because of the permeability, they just go more vertical. And again, it doesn't matter, you know, if you're turning your probe as you scan, you're still gonna see the flaws no matter what rotation you have in the probe head. It's because it's just an absolute pancake coil. Now on this other one, this is one that you would use more for, for weld scanning. And notice how it has this line on the probe. That's so you can, as you scan along the weld, you can have this line pointing, for example, to your left while you scan along the weld. And then you would turn it 90 degrees towards you and you would scan it in that direction. That way you're looking for, um, actually it doesn't even really matter with this one. You can just always scan to the left or to the right. But you'd wanna have this line either facing the direction of travel so it's um, perpendicular to the cracks in your cow block or you would want to have it turned 90 degrees but you don't want to have it at some other angle and I'll show you why. So we're going to plug into our Limo connector. I'm going to have to go back into the settings. We're going to make sure we're using the right connector so we're going to go back to Limo. Say okay. Back into settings. So since I'm on the carbon steel already, we'll just stick with that. Need to put in some gain on this one. Adjust the angle. All right, so this one, because it's a differentially wound plus point coil your responses from axial flaws will go in one polarity and the circumferential or transverse flaws will go in the other polarity. So if I'm holding my block and I'm scanning with the line facing in the direction of travel, you'll notice how those flaws have positive polarity. And if I wanted to get those signals to go more straight up, I could just reduce the test frequency. 
but watch what happens when I rotate the probe towards me and scan in the same direction. Now you'll see how they go in the negative polarity. They're all going down this way. Just for fun, we're gonna change the test frequency to like 100 kilohertz. We'll hit null. I probably got too much gain. You can't even see the signals, can you? See, they go up when I'm scanning with my line to the left. And then when I turn the probe towards me, the line towards me, then you see they go down. So that's just a way of determining um, if they're, which direction the crack is going and if it's circumferential or axial. And if you wanna see aluminum, same probe. I got 100 kilohertz. I got a set noise horizontal. I got da, 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 da. There we go. So here's scanning to the left. You can see that I have the probe in that orientation. They'll go up. And when I turn the probe 90 degrees towards me, then they'll go down. So that's the differential plus point. And the gain's not even that hot right here. If you wanted to turn the gain up, See, that's the biggest crack. That's eight mils right there. That's 20 mils. That's the deepest one. So let's take our frequency up a little bit. Let's take the frequency up. We're at like 400 kilohertz. How's that? Of course, we always have to adjust our phase angle. And a little more. There we go. There's an 8 mil, 20 mil, 40 is way off screen. All right, so anyway, those are your two probes. They're both used, but both seem to work just fine. All right, thanks. Bye.